During development, you know, you don't always get to chase down every idea that you want to. And with Impact, uh, we had an opportunity to go back and revisit some of the, those, those choices, and we really wanted to make it almost a scary experience where players, you know, squads have to get really close together to perform. So we wanted to find both a, a visual hook and a visual theme, as well as something that really uh, had tremendous impact on the gameplay. So we filled the, the whole environment full of this thick smoke and embers floating through it and really trying to nail that kind of on fire feeling. And at the same time, what that's doing is it's actually bringing all the sight lines in. So the dynamics of play are all much more claustrophobic, right? You can only see sort of a few meters in front of you. You, do, you can't see all the way across the map, so you don't quite get a read on what the opponents are doing. So we wanted to make sure that, that denying them that information in the gameplay was really going to change it up for them. Support players can't just sit there at range. They're going to have to get actually a little closer to the fight than they're probably comfortable with. We've replaced the two long shots with Bulltox, which is going to prepare those support players really well. Then we've also brought the overkill into the map. Uh, and the drop shot over on the side has replaced the torque. And those snipers, well, you know, the snipers might be screwed. <laughs> well, War Machine uh, is, a, is a classic Gears map. It's got that big turret up at the top that defines the whole battlefield, but it's actually countered by the snipe on the other side of the map. And the fight for snipe is super unique amongst almost all the, the Gears fights. You've got like a this awesome fight of around the snipe over inside sandbags, but you've also got this sort of fight over top of it from all the support fire. And so it's got these almost three different lanes that have very, very distinct fights. It's a, it's a fantastic map, uh, and we were really happy to be able to like bring it back in a totally new reimagined way. We still wanted to keep that idea of War Machine that it's this place of preparing for, for a battle, but it's now set in a new COG settlement instead of an old one. So now everything's shiny and new, and there's displays with, with all the traveling information on it. But then there's been some kind of emergency that's happened, and it's been taken over by the, the COG you know, military. So it's got that really strong juxtaposition of battle emplacements over top of everyday things like the corner store and the shop for newspapers. We haven't changed the, the weapon layout. We've wanted to stay really classic. So you've got the torque in the middle, you've got the two frags on the sides, you've got the snipe down uh, deep in the pocket there, and then up top we've got the turret that defines sort of the entire shape of the map. Thanks for watching. Let us know what you think on the official Gears of War forums and at Gears of War on Twitter. Click on a fly-through to see more of these latest two maps.